Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Judgment. I do appreciate you guys tuning into these videos. These are very intense videos at times and very quirky videos at other times. I would say the last of us was very intense. Uh, duly because we were able to save Hamara from potential life sentence. Alright, next up we're going to find the second uh, crime scene here. And the reason... Oh, where are you? Oh, the reason for this is because... They have to go and check out where the crimes were before and just to indicate if there's any clues, anything they're missing, just to essentially make sure they don't miss anything because they want to figure out where Hamura's, I guess, because his alibi made sense. But the thing is, they don't know if he's working for the mole. That's what they call this guy, the mole. But anyways, let's continue moving forward here. Yeah, so very good episode. I suggest you guys take a look at that. If you haven't already, let's just check this guy out. He's sad. Um, excuse me, my name is Nikomia, and you haven't happened to see any cute little kitties wandering around here, have you? Well, there's one right there, buddy. Hmm? You're looking for kitties out here? Friend event with Nikomia. Uh, yes, in fact, I'm the only one who takes care of all the stray cats in Komoro Show. However, there are a few that I haven't seen lately. Oh, so he's the one who feeds them. Great, now they're going to crap all over the place. I hope they aren't too hungry. I really do worry about them. They're street cats. They'll be fine. You think so? How do you know if you're not dying somewhere? They're street cats. They existed long before you came around. But it's not just me who's concerned. The rest of the federal feline community needs to know they're safe. You mean there are more of you? Oh, yes. You see, I run a blog about all the street cats I find. It's got cat pictures, cat icons, cat matchmaking, cat everything. But since I can't upload my subscribers about the cats that went missing, a lot of them started to panic. I see. Well, sounds like it's a big deal. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal to me. That's why I'm searching high and low for these crazy little critters. Yeah, for some reason, they run away at full speed whenever they see me coming. It's like the more I offer my love, the faster they run away. Why? Why won't my feelings get through to them? Well, later. Less cats means less cat poops. Say good riddance. <laughs> well, cats do tend to be pretty fickle, you know? Uh, so you do you do know thing about too the behavior? Let me guess. You're also a fellow feline fanatic. Huh? No, not quite. Either way, would you be able to willing to help me find missing kitties? On behalf of the cat loving community? Huh? Seriously? Yeah. All you have to do is send me their pictures when you find them. Just to let me know they're still alive and kicking. Oh, and I'll reward you, of course. Cash. Okay, you can persuade me. As long as it's just talk, taking pictures. Oh, thank you so, so much. Oh yeah, we should exchange your contact info. I'm Yagami, by the way. So, what kind of cash should I be looking for? Ah, right. Would you mind starting off with a calico? He's a bit of a scaredy cat, so I doubt he's gone too far. Calico got it. Man, what a nuisance, but I could I couldn't help to keep an eye out. Great, that'll be kinda you got me son. Alright. So I uh he's the guy that needs the cats. Perfect, because we've been taking cat pictures here and there. Um I wanna check something on the map actually. Let's see where the nearest like area is to buy groceries. That's a pawn shop. I'm going to go there quickly, guys, because I know that in previous encounters, I've been really close to dying without having a medical uh, supplies. So in the previous fight, if you saw the last episode, I was against two guys that have a little bit more than normal health. Uh, they were kind of like, not bosses per se, but they, were, they had a little bit more like a side boss. So I want to make sure I'm kind of prepared and stocked up on anything that can keep me from dying. There's always all this fish stuff for cats. So this one's a perfect for healing a little bit of health. Toughness Z, I've seen this in previous Yakuza games, so it makes sense. I'm just gonna buy them three of these. It seems like it's a like max capacity I can hold. Uh, let's go three, and then we can go to purchase. I think that's how it works. Yes, please. Thank you, thank you. I kind of wish there was medicine. Maybe there's like a hospital that do provide medicine. I'm gonna go find that later on in another episode. Um, I might do the same concept where like I did in Tales of Arise where I just go quickly and purchase some items and then go back to the same spot Just to make sure I'm secured with all the items so that when I go to another fight 
I don't die too much. I'm still learning. And this is a nice little area to like help me at least improve on my skills. Like you can see my health is pretty damn high up. It's pretty up. Oh my gosh, okay, it's annoying. It's pretty up high compared to like others, other skills I have because I think in terms of being playing these games, I've seen Yakuza games where there's gonna be bosses and lieutenants and captains that will have not only a lot of health, but they'll do a lot of damage early on. So I need to be sure I have a lot of health because I don't know if I'll be able to be ready for all the fights that will come after me. You know what I mean? Just want to check something. Never mind. All right, let's check the second crime scene here. It's only us. Well, you and I and whoever's watching. Our friend's not with us. Takeshi Ally. Sorry, Ali. This is where the mole's second victim was found. If I recall, the body was found in the garbage dump. So around here. Uh -huh. I see a cat right away. Suspicious. Oh, look at cat. I, uh, I'm a big fan of cats. They're so adorable. They're nothing but like okay. sweethearts to me. It's a dumpster. I think that the body has been found in here. I would have heard about it by now. Probably safe to say it wasn't in the trash. Alright. Let's check around then. Well, we're looking for a garbage bin. I mean, there's nothing else except like this garbage here. This is where they take out the garbage, right? The car must have been lying around here. This case happened months ago though. I don't suppose there are any traces of the body left. I should take a little closer look. Okay, okay. Oh, there's something shiny there. Oh, what is this? Exquisite screw. God, this is totally unrelated to the case. Guess there's no more signs of the murder. Doesn't mean there's anything left to find. I guess that's it, right? Like, uh, there's nothing here. Oh, there's something there. The alleyway is pretty narrow. No chance for a car to fit through. The victim must have walked here on his own. Or did the mole bring him here after the kill? There isn't enough evidence here to say either way. I think that's it. Unless there's any cameras hidden around here, I would definitely zoom in on that, but I'm not seeing any cameras really. I think it's going to be something that they would have mentioned as a clue. Straight cat. Yeah. Unless there is a camera, because usually cameras, they clearly I won't get any bonuses or any like additional points. But for the sake of continuing, there's really not much I can do without a police reports. I guess coming here and I can't finish this sentence. That guy looks like Saya, the hair. I don't know why. The host. Oh gosh, I was almost, I was almost not ready there. Okay, we're good. Really close, actually. Oh, come on. Jump over that. Must, almost missed it. Okay. My bad, my bad. My reaction is a little bit rough. One second. Okay. So far, so good. Catching up to him, at least. It's an easy uh, prompt because it's the same one each time. Oh, come on. That was my bad. Hello? He's right there. Grab him. Yeah. 
We're just following this guy forever. Is he gonna jump off? Oh, we just have to keep chasing him. Never mind. I have to hit the tackle the person. this back you, I own it look it wasn't a perfect plan but it worked out in the end didn't it so thanks is that what you call that and I don't want your thanks asshole <laughs> okay see ya True. Fast. We got cut up. Are we all good? I got in touch with Ayabe. He's scrapping up what he can on the mold thing. Oh, come on. Type faster. Just a little tight till we hear back. Cool. Or just sit tight. I'm exhausted. Maybe I should check in the Gunda Sensei and see it's been a while. Maybe he'll provide some goodies. One second. Speaking of goodies, come on. There has to be something up here. Oh, come on. Work with me, game. Work with me. Whatever. I used to slide down. Climbing is a pain in the butt. We can't go that way anymore. I don't know why. Maybe we just can't go through that area just yet in this game. Oh, no. You want to go? Excuse me. I don't mean to scare you, but I need your help bad. He's faking it. What's the matter? Are you hurt? My stomach. It's killing all of me. It's killing me all of a sudden. Should I call an ambulance? No, don't do that. I don't have that kind of money. Please, just go get Marobushi Sensei. Is he some kind of doctor? Yeah, he could. He should be underground in the sewers. You can get there through a manhole in Chosen Ch Park. Alright, stay put for a minute. You'll understand it if you tell Kodo is asking for him. Please, hurry. Why would a doctor be hanging around the sewers? Guess that's not what really matters here. Yeah, bored guy. Okay, I thought there would be a fight because I saw other people here. And I thought they were waiting for me. So that's why I got kind of guarded up. But anyways, we'll continue with this main story. Uh, this person he's talking to. There's just suddenly come falling down. Thank God no one is hurt. I see. Yeah. Thank goodness no one got hurt. Almost. Almost got hurt. Uh, there's another person we can talk to here. I might as well. Welcome. Would you like to try our music fair today? Dwayne Cruz. Hmm? A music fair? That's right. Get one point for every 700 yen you spend. Once you get 10 points, we'll give you a nice new record. A record? Like an LP? Yes. Furthermore, each Pokemon Kumarusha has a different record to give away. Hmm. We do have a record player back at the office. Remember to do lots of shopping at Popo. So everything I buy at Popo counts towards the price. That's not bad a deal. True. I don't know what these pocket tissues are for. I've seen them in multiple games. I would buy more health related items though. That's something I definitely would. Um, but I don't know why it's telling me to buy. I don't know why I feel like I have to buy that. Anyways, uh, I'm looking for wires as well. Jack Daniels, they have that in this game? Are you crazy? Oh my gosh. It's kind of crazy to see that, actually. Alright, we're done. Thanks again. 
And remember, always drop Popo. I didn't think they were allowed to even put like Jack Daniels. I saw Sake, which is very okay. Freaking. One second. Trying to learn some combos here. This one's down. Just jump on that. Oh, he's not happy. Yeah, they didn't last long, sorry. I did a pretty good job there, I'm not gonna lie. The ragdoll's effect is kind of interesting though, I still find. All right, let's go further down this little area. Guys, think about games there, fair enough. We all think about games. All right, we're gonna head to meet Dr. Marabushi in the sewer. I guess that was part of the, I thought it was part of like a side quest, but it's part of the main quest actually, interesting. I thought we would go to the third crime scene for some strange reason. Only because it's like it makes sense for me. Please don't hit me. Okay, cool. I guess we go here. Oh, I see. Let's talk to this person first. You want something? Oh, oh, nothing in particular. Then leave me the heck alone. Guess that attitude is how it. We okay. Maybe. You can't understand why right away. Come on, there's no items down there. Anyways, let's check down here. No, no, nothing weird. Just going down a manhole at a park. Nothing crazy. All right. Wait, there are homies here. What's up, guys? Doing well? Stench. What stench? Because I'm used to it. Yeah, you get used to it. i sure, sure I'm the same way when it comes to stenches. I get used to it right away. I like how they chill down here. It's like their little cave. You know, like a man cave for them. This must be the doctor here. Excuse me. Hey, are you Morbushi Sensei? Mm -hmm. I am. And who you might be? This is Yagami. I'm Yagumi. Doesn't ring a bell. So what do you want? Hmm. What was I supposed to tell this guy again? Your homeboy's calling for you. Morbushi calling for you. The condor has left the nest. Kondo's calling for you. There's the homeless guy. Goes by Kondo. You know him? He was asking for your help just now. <laughs> what? Kondo-san was? Yeah, he said his stomach was killing him. Where is he? Park, uh, Public Park 3. Just books it. Hey. When someone's in need of help, they run. Good stuff. <laughs> well, I made it. Thanks a million, Doc. You too, my guy. Did you eat something strange again? Uh, let me think. Well, I did some dumpster diving at Pink Street yesterday, and I knew I tasted something fishy. For crying out loud. Haha. <laughs> Oops. Looks like Kodo-san's done again. Yamagami-san, yeah, 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 wasn't it? Yes. Sorry for your trouble. This guy's always eating trash and messing up his stomach. Nice. Excuse me. No worries, but I've got to ask. Are you actually a doctor? Yeah, or at least I was, but that's all in the past. Morbid Sensei used to be a doctor at the huge medical university. <laughs> but he's been down in the dumb since he lost his chance to become a professor, so he started helping us instead. Huh? Don't talk too much, Kojo son. <laughs> Oopsie daisy, my bad. As for you, Gami son, you're something for your trouble. I know it isn't much. And that's a lot. Thank you so much. It's huge. That's what I was looking for. I appreciate you the way. Well then, I'll be off now. Thanks for helping out, Yagami san. I'll see you around. And that's why you make friends. You don't know where they're from and what they can provide you. Interesting. That's actually really, really good to see. Alright, back to are those enemies there. Okay. As I said that. You wanna go punk? You want that? That's what happens when you get. I still like the style the best. I don't know about you guys. Ooh, gets backhand to the face. Lies there. Peace, boys. Uh, yeah, let's just go forward. I like how they're trying to like have their stance sometimes when you pass by people, they get scared. All right. So the next stop essentially is just to go to every main mission. I'm not going to be doing a lot of side quests throughout this uh, play because I think uh, for me, it's important to showcase the main story. I would love to sit here and do all the side quests. Like I mentioned in many of my videos, I would do it 100% and I will do it on my own time. Just want to do a video. I don't want to be sitting here for hours on end doing it because it might take a long time to do some side quests, which I can't complain too much. I do like being side quests. Makes the game a lot more fun. All right, let's see what happens when we go in here. Well, look what the 
Cat dragged in. Afternoon. Did I keep you waiting or something? No. We were just talking about you, actually. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Of course. Especially if you've got a job for me. <laughs> You're always so eager to work. A great fighter, too. You ever take lessons? I did back when I was a kid, yeah. The rest has been more of a learn-by-doing thing. I like to think of it as Kamurocho style. Because you trained yourself on the streets? Man, what a life. I bet you've got some crazy stories. Um, Yagami-san. What's up? Actually, I do have some work for you. Yeah? What kind? Here, take a look at what I've got. All right, infidelity investigation. Let's do it. Interesting case. Let's go. I'll send the details to your office. Put them up on your board or something. Sounds good. Thanks, sorry, son. All right, cool. We still have to speak to Genda, though. Yagami, you still sniffing around that Kume case? Oh yeah, never told Genda Sensei. I'm looking for looking for them all. Yeah, it's not a problem, is it? Not a problem, per se. But the case is closed. I can't keep paying you to investigate. Fine by me. It's a personal matter now. Even so, you're convinced Hamura's covering for the killer, right? You know he'll be none too happy if he finds out you're still on the case. He brought this on himself, if you ask me. Speaking of, have you seen him since the trial? No. But he and Shintani keep in touch. They're practically drinking buddies these days. Really? Come on in, Hattori-san. Small, but it's home. Oh, I know all about this place. Right, Yagami-san? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Shintani had an interview today. Shintani and Hattori, two of my favorite people in the world. Just pretend Yagami isn't here, yeah? Wouldn't want your readers thinking he had a hand in getting Hamura's acquittal. Oh, don't worry about that, Shintani Sensei. That courtroom was yours. Yours alone. I should go. Looks like I'm the third wheel here. Without a photo, Yagami-san? For as much as you did on the case? Let me just get one of you in Shintani Sensei, huh? Tea, sir. What a treat. That would be great, Shirozaki Sensei. Right to his face, like she looked like she was pissed too. What was he doing there? Anyways, I need to meet the client back at the office. Back at the old office. Well, I do hope you guys are enjoying this game. I know that for me. Yakuza games tend to be very fun. So I thought why not play one that also has a different twist. I've seen Yakuza games. I will definitely play them. Like I said, I have Zero. I don't have Kiwami or Kiwami 2. But I have the remastered version. So 3, 4, and 5. I have 6 as well and I played 7. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to playing that one. I know, uh, you know what's funny? It's kind of like the Resident Evil. They have Resident Evil 0 and I think they have they have 8 obviously. Village, right? At this rate, it's like, uh, that's what Yakuza is doing, right? And that's what they're going to do, I'm pretty sure. They're definitely going to release 8. I don't see them stopping. It's so hard to stop a franchise. It's like stopping Final Fantasy. Like, how does one do that? Like, good luck trying to actually stop someone from playing that game, right? Or from playing that franchise. The franchise itself what, is defined, redefined video games a lot for me, at least. JRPGs, it, it got me back to JRPGs, in my opinion. Uh, so when I played Final Fantasy VII Remake... That's what made me go back into gaming, and then I realized how much I really enjoy these type of games. Being like RPG, JRPG-esque. Like, I played Skyrim Fallout. Fallout 4, sorry. And those games are really, really fun. They are sometimes long, and if you want to get 100%, which I haven't yet, I've got close to Skyrim getting the Platinum. Uh, there is DLC, which could take a long time, but there were some missing ones that one day when I do feel like I can go back, I will. I will. 100%. I just need to find that energy to do it again. It's just I beat the game Skyrim before. Uh, Fallout 4 I haven't. I've just done so many side quests that I haven't got my time to do it. But I'll do it. I will do it for sure. Look at that guy. Ready to fight. Like, you saw me fight the guy. Like, you have any idea, like, how strong, you know, Yagami is? He's insane. He's a beast. Alright. 
We're back at our house here. Just climbing a car for no reason. We're here. Do we have to unlock it again like last time? Whoa. One second. I got a present. Someone sent me something. Launch edition. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, now we're done. Excuse me. Hello, hello. How are you here about the job, ma'am? Hi. Yes. I'm Yorki Tagoshi. You came highly recommended by Gendai Sensei. I'm Yagami. Sorry to have you kept you waiting. Here, I'll I'll get the door for you. So yeah, I'm a private investigator. You wanted me to be investigating if your husband's cheating on you or not, correct? Yes, I'm afraid that's right. I can't shake the feeling that he might be, but I need someone to look for for sure. All right, it's a side case. Very well. Can you tell me the whole story? Yes. You see, my husband and I own a cafe at Boulevard called Heavy Coffee. We've managed it together since, ever since it opened, in fact. My husband's a good man, but he's always kept me to himself. We've been married four years and I can, 40 years, and I can hardly remember any real fights, let alone infidelity. Sounds like you two have a great marriage. I would usually agree, but lately we've been leaving the cafe earlier. I mean, there have always been slow days where we would leave to hit the pachinko slots or go see a movie. But lately, this has become almost everyday occurrence. But at least you believe he's cheating on you. Perhaps he simply found a new hobby, for instance. That's fairly all common at your age, isn't it? Yes, I thought that might be the case at first too, but once I stopped at the Pachinko parlor, he said he'll be at... I didn't see him anywhere. Hmm. Well, are you sure you are at the right place? The city has quite a few Pachinko parlors. If I only had... If only once been one. If it only had been once. Might not be so sure. But I assure you, I've been through... I've checked in several times now. And I've never found him there once. I see. It sounds like you've done your homework then. Sorry for giving you a third degree there. Yagami son. I'd like you to investigate where my husband goes when he leaves the shop. And if he is cheating, can you tell me who he's meeting? You really want me to do gory details? Yes. I want to know what kind of woman he would cheat on me with. I can do that. But I have to say, sometimes you're better off not knowing. You're sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'll put 80,000 yen on my con on the request. Is that sufficient? Yes, of course. I'll take the case. Thank you. Like I said, he leaves the cafe early almost every day now. He even told me that he's been waiting to see a movie just to came out. Alright, that should make it simple enough to tell him when he leaves. Please do. This lady's shop is the heavy coffee and is in Boulevard. Guess I'll check it out. Alright. We got our first case, boys and girls. Let's do this. Oh my goodness. Detective work again. We have to tell someone. All right, so we have to go to heavy coffee. Man, I do like me some coffee. I'm not going to lie. Midnight coffees are nice. Decaf coffees, even though they have a little bit of caffeine in them, they're still amazing. Personally, one of my favorites is just having like a midnight coffee. Just chilling, you know, maybe editing a rec uh, video or two. Very fun for me, at least. All right, we already hit the heavy coffee. Which is right in front of me. I can see it. This is heavy coffee. Hmm. That must be the client's husband. Let's see where he goes. How do you know that was the right one though? We don't have a, a little sketch of it. All right, time to do our thing, right guys? All right, Noriko's husband. So, I wonder what games you guys are playing. I find that I always have a good idea of playing games and I had a hard time figuring out what next game I should play. I'm gonna be honest, I'm only recording Judgment right now. I have finished recording Tales of Arise. I have just one or two more videos to upload. Uh, and I usually keep them scheduled so that I have a few lined up in case I were to do something else uh, in my life that requires me to take some time off from recording or from making uh, edits. So we'll see. I think it's not going to be too bad uh, picking another game out. I was thinking about making like um, another older game, but we'll see if a new game comes out and I think it's actually nice. And I'm thinking about like making more these type of videos where it's more RPG, GRP-esque. I did play Final, uh, Resident Evil 2. One second. One second. We're fine. 
We're completely fine. He's zooming in way too hard. I didn't expect him to stop right there though. But he's coming back this way. Which is odd. Still there. Checking his phone, taking a picture of a little place here. Maybe if I walk closer, he would put it away, yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure he was gonna walk this way again. So yeah, I did do the Resident Evil 2, and I think that was really fun, but I think I'm gonna do Resident Evil games off the YouTube channel. I wanted to do something different, like something more action paced more suspenseful it was very suspenseful i'm not gonna lie and with that being said yeah i don't think i'm gonna do another resident evil game those type of games really put me on edge when i play them and i like games that are like this was more relaxing it is fun but there's nothing like there's no hidden elements to be scared or to be to be on the edge of your seat like while playing like this one i'm, I'm i won't be on the edge of my seat i'll be very happy when there's like like moments where it's like oh my gosh i didn't see that coming but not when it's like a huge freaking machine, like eight foot tall machine following you at one point in the game. Once you memorize like little areas in the game, it becomes very easy though. I must say. I'll just hide here for a second. I'm not sure where the person is going. One second. There we go. Okay. See, that was actually not bad hide for me. Oh, I see. He's the. Uh, they think the mistress is right there already. And tell me to walk right here. Tailing complete. Not bad. That wasn't too bad. The last part there, I was actually really happy with my hide. A woman, not looking positive. She's caked in makeup, though. Must be really trying to hide her age. The red brick again? Maybe. That works. Moving. Red brick, huh? That's got to be the Red Brick Hotel. All right, I'm going to need a photo as proof. Where's the best spot to catch them entering the hotel? Here? Or here? No, maybe here. I should follow them and get them into a position that'll give me a clean shot. All right, to get the full scoop. In photo missions, your goal is to investigate certain invest incidents and capture the decisive moments on camera. Take a picture that takes off all check boxes on the right side of the screen. Be careful. If you take a picture of us as in conditions, it will result in game over. Therefore, check your surroundings and look for the best possible camera angle that allows you to take the picture that satisfies all criteria. Note that you won't be able to take a picture until you fulfill at least one condition. On top of taking off the check boxes, if you capture a photo that perfectly meets the client's demands, you'll gain some SP. All right. I want to get all the SP, so I will try. Right there. So we need to get a moment of them entering the hotel. Hotel beauty. This is how you raise your camera. Home wrecker, moment of them entering. You press X to get capture all of them. Hmm. So it was right in front of me, the hotel. I'm just making sure I got the right one. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. There. Got it. Let's go. Cast for a better photo, man. This is perfect. Not to figure out who is he seeing. Guess I'll have to wait till I come out of the hotel. True. I mean, you did get a glimpse of her, but I guess you need to get a better shot. Finally, not bad for your age, you two. Looks like they're splitting up here. Time to follow the woman. Telling the woman now, wow. I mean, it's kind of obvious like that, though. I'm not going to lie. 
seemed like really, really close. Home wrecker. So, besides this, like I mentioned, maybe I'm playing for 13 Sentinels, and it's a very low key game. I find that I have like a good time 30, playing 13 Sentinels when I'm just chilling, really. Like, not really doing much, you know? Like, kind of like sitting back, relaxing. Just trying to do other things, and I have 13 Sentinels in the background playing. Like, I usually play like the uh, story based areas of the game first. And then if I can't do any more story-based areas of the game, I would tend to like the uh, mystery files if I have any unlocked. If not, then I will go right to the fights. And the fights are not that bad. I fought multiple, I played five missions I think so far. And each of them are pretty easy so far. Like I, I've had the easiest time doing them so far. And it's really fun, I must say. It's definitely a game I think you should play when you, if you like JRPGs, it's very, story driven game i think it's more sci-fi story driven game that's what they're i think uh in the back of the of the game would say so with that being said it has been like a very good time i'm very 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 happy i picked it up i heard very good things about it why is she walking back and forth so many times does she not know where to go that was odd maybe she's trying to trick me so yeah 13 sentence people play it Enjoy it. Have fun. Nothing bad about the game. I can I can even say like I would recommend it. It's definitely. Why oh, you can go in there too? It's odd. I'm not losing them. I'm not gonna lie, I lost her. Oh, she's right there. Oh my gosh, I actually lost her for a second. She was right there the whole time. So yeah. Pick it up, enjoy it. I'm gonna get a platinum. It's very easy platinum. Just a little bit tedious in terms of just sitting there and waiting for some stories to end. But I like it. It's like I said, it's a good way to enjoy the game. It, like it's fun. I play it again like when I'm not doing much or I'm doing something else and just having it in the background. It's definitely something that I think everyone should play, even if you're not a fan of art JRPGs. Especially if you're a fan of sci-fi, I can see that being a big fun for you. It's like a mind death too. It's like there's multiple parts in the game where you're like, what? That person, what happened to this person? Why is this person like that? Oh my gosh, I didn't see that coming. Like, it's really fun that way. Definitely a must play. I think a lot of people actually really recommend it. I've seen a lot of recommendations and I've seen people saying they're really happy because there's actually a Switch version of the game coming out. But it does have a PS5 as well. It doesn't hurt to try it out. And trophies. Keeps me from uh, dropping the game, honestly. Keeps me from dropping any game these days. Um, I did pick up, like I said, Resident Evil 5 and I beat it, even though I got the Platinum in it. Uh, the Platinum, you don't have to do a lot of the DLCs. Uh, but if you want to get 100%, yes, you have to do the DLCs. And the DLCs can be very hard sometimes because uh, there's a lot of online components and the online scene can be very uh, dry. And when I did it, it was uh, had to boost. Only way to do it. Oh, we're here. That was easy. I say that when I almost lost uh, her. <laughs> I almost lost her at one point. Wait. This is... We're back at heavy coffee. What the heck? Could it be? I guess it doesn't matter. This picture should be enough for the client. Hello, Narika-san? Yagami-san? Have you found anything out? Yes. I'd like to go over my findings. Would you mind stopping by the office? Of course. I'll be right there. See you soon, then. Alright. I'll meet her back at the office. That you will, my friend. That you will. Based on the evidence, I think it's safe to say with almost full certainty that your husband's cheating. I'm sorry. I see. I'm, I'm sorry. Was there more, Yagami-san? Yes. Regarding the woman your husband was seeing, does she look familiar? Th that? Am I correct in assuming she's the owner of Kashu Zuko, the bar above the Hivey Coffee? Yes. You're absolutely right. We've met a few times, actually. I, I had no idea he was seeing something so close. I'm a fool to not have seen it earlier. Don't blame yourself. In a trusting relationship, you aren't really looking for those kind of signs. 
Look, I, like I said, sometimes these things kind of deals are best left undiscovered. But your husband is seeing your neighbor. That much is true. And now the truth is a weapon in your hand. Just be careful about how you wield it, okay? Thank you, Yagami-san. I'm actually relieved to know it. I think I'll fall for divorce. I see. I'm glad to know rather than spend the rest of my life as an ignorant clout. Thank you for being so thorough. Just doing my job. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to get in touch. <laughs> ha! No, thank you. I don't need to feel what I'm feeling now ever again. This one ended up right where I started. Sometimes it really is the darkest under the lamp post. Not wrong. Okay, cool. You can get up some stuff from the both the agency and the law office. Ooh, a lot of stuff. I'll tend to this a little later, okay? Because their side quests can be accepted at the agency, the bartender, and the gen in the office. Okay, perfect. Then you can get money, SP, items, etc. Which we got eighty thousand, right? You can play Outrun in your office. So I haven't heard back from. Yeah, that was too quick for me. All right, everybody. I think what I'm gonna do here is actually call it a video. I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch one of my videos. It does mean a lot to me. I do hope that you guys are enjoying them. And I'll see you guys next time in the next episode. Have yourselves a great day. And stay safe out there. Bye now.